freedom of speech is for everything, including extreme ideas. Dev Maiko says no one has to give you a platform. That's not true. The government has to give you a platform. Or more to the point, the government can't take away a platform that has been paid for by the taxpayers and is in a public space. Uh, but Dev, you're right. The, the, the government doesn't have to set up a fucking Diaz for you and pay for your microphones. But they absolutely do have to make... Yeah, no, of course. No one needs to give you a private platform. I would argue, though, that if my kids go to college and when I send my kids to college and I spend a lot of goddamn money, um, you goddamn right I want my kids to hear dissenting opinions. Why would I want my children to go to a college, which is where their minds are supposed to be expanded, which is where they're supposed to be exposed to new ideas? Think about how broken that is. I hate the KKK. I hate Nazis. And I hate white supremacists. I hated that Milo Yanapa fuckalus, whatever the fuck his name was. But if I'm going to send my kid to a school, part of their education is exposing them to new ideas. Part of their education is exposing them to ideas that are awful so they can learn how to properly in a safe space, which is college. It's not the real world how they can properly learn to deal with information when it comes at them dressed in a flashy suit, spoken by a beautiful woman like that Tammy, whatever her name is on Fox News, spoken uh, in a great environment with lights and microphones and things like that. So they can learn how to deal with information dressed up as legitimate and they can say, this feels wrong. Do you know why we need that kind of speech on college campuses? We need it so we don't end up with this, okay? If you can't raise your children, especially in college, to learn how, like this some bitch in the background who said, you know what, this isn't right. These kids were easily goaded by a grown up with a camera and with a position of authority to literally do the Hail Hitler salute. I, you goddamn right, I want my children to go to a college where they are encountering tough, challenging, awful other people's opinions so that they can learn how to respond. And they can also learn that maybe, hey, look, maybe they agree with those opinions. They have a right to agree with opinions I don't. This idea that we're going to protect people from ideas we don't like is absurd and dangerous. Kids should be exposed to that kind of speech and they should be allowed to hear. They're goddamn adults. They're 18 years old. If they can go to fucking go to war, then they should be able to listen to ideas that you find problematic. What do you want to know about Milo? I don't want to know anything about him. I'm just saying that he was one of the guys that got ran out of town when he basically was trying to speak at colleges. And I thought it was horrible. I, here's the other part. Not only was it horrible, but all we have to do is look at the earlier part of the conversation in this stream where you guys were seeing people coming at me for things I didn't even say about the loot box argument because all they were doing is getting a headline and saying, I'm going to fight the good fight, but you don't have the information and they were coming at me. So you goddamn right. I don't actually know these people on college campuses that they say these people aren't allowed to speak. Who knows what the people who want to speak are really for because it shows these kids don't have a problem just sort of reading a headline and, and, and coming to a goddamn conclusion. Um, Milo is a great example. He spread bullshit, but was loved by simple-minded reactionaries. Great. I, I support his right to spread bullshit uh, and, and, and be loved by simple-minded reactionaries. I don't want to shut the guy down. I would love my children to go to a college where a guy like that speaks. I would love my children to come home and go, Dad, I just heard this guy, he's brilliant. He's named Milo Yiannopoulos, whatever the fuck. And I would like for them to ultimately, either by me or their friends or by their own intellect after they do some research, go, holy shit, I can't believe I fell for that guy. His views are terrible. We're missing out on training future humans to be critical thinkers. We're missing out on the chance that kids can go to college and get bamboozled and, and, and brought into the seemingly warm embrace of horrible ideas and then have the experience of going through some pain to emerge from the other side to go, oh my God, I will never fall for that shit again. I will always put a critical hat on when I'm hearing ideas about country, religion, my fellow humans. But instead... 
we're putting these kids in fucking baby proof rooms and saying, we don't want you to ever hear any ideas that we think are bad. And we wonder why our country is coming apart at the fucking seams. It's insane. It's insane. Shinotsky says no one in politics or government want critical thinkers. I don't give a fuck. I want critical thinkers.